In the last Sustainable Development Goals report by United Nations, they recognize the importance of technology in order to achieve our global agenda. They say that we need a better use of data, technology and innovation in order to achieve our goals. When we're talking about technology, we're talking about a revolution that completely changed our habits and, and that technology has disrupted different industries across the world. But now we need a new revolution, a new revolution to use technology to create positive impact and to use all the power of technology with purpose. There are three approaches when using technology to create positive impact. Replacement. When we are talking about replacement, we are talking about technologies that completely replace a manual process, for example, digital signatures. Then optimization. When we are talking about optimization, we are talking about technologies that make a process more efficient thanks to data or automation, for example, using optimization algorithms in production process. And then redesign. When we are talking about redesign, we are talking about technologies that completely reinvent a product or service, creating a new business model. For example, giving access to a product instead of buying it. A great example is a car, that you can have a car shared by different people instead of everyone buying a car. So this is a great and unique opportunity to reduce the use of resources. Among the three ways of using technology to create positive impact, redesign is the most interesting one because it can allow us to use technology to completely reinvent our economic system. One great example is a platform for ecosystem restoration. For years, companies have been invested in restoration projects uh, like forests and other different natural ecosystems in order to reduce and offset their emissions. But here the problem is clear. We don't have really the information to understand if these projects are really contributing to CO2 absorption and the impact that they are having in the ecosystem. So it's a huge opportunity to use technology in order to better monitor and digitize all this information. In order to do this, there are a lot of technologies that can be used. Technologies like Internet of Things can help us to understand the needs of our biodiversity and the natural capital. With image recognition algorithms, you can use a camera to measure the size of a tree so you can have a better understanding of the impact that this project is created in terms of CO2 absorption or biodiversity impact. When we are talking about climate solutions, we need to be systemic in our approach. We need to combine the power of business, of the private sector, of the public sector and of startups. And it's critical to design with a systemic approach in order to achieve our goals.